This Sunday, a new St. Patrick's Day tradition will kick off on Staten Island and in the process make history. The Forest Avenue Parade will be the first in the borough to feature LGBTQ plus groups. It was organized because the original St. Patrick's Parade, which happened last weekend, has long banned these groups from participating. So instead of just watching from the sidelines, organizers decided it was time to host their own more inclusive celebration. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman with more. Megan Coppola is the owner of Beans and Leaves in the West Brighton neighborhood on Staten Island. She also is the chair of the Forest Avenue Business Improvement District and is proudly Irish. It's a part of my family. It's my heritage. It but like many others on Staten Island, she was unhappy with the exclusion of LGBTQ plus groups from the borough's annual St. Patrick's Day parade. So her BID voted to host a second inclusive parade on Sunday. It was unanimous. We want to be able to see all of our friends, our peers, our neighbors, some family members be able to be a part of this. The established parade, organized by the Ancient Order of the Hibernians, took place on March 3rd. But groups like the Staten Island Pride Center were not, and have never been, allowed to participate. This weekend, though, the group plans to proudly march. We've just wanted to participate like any other organization, celebrate our Irish heritage and walk down Forest Avenue with our banner. And businesses along Forest Avenue are ready to show their support as well, like at Jeans, Fine Wines and Spirits. This is a great neighborhood and I think this is going to really bring people together. I think everybody is very open and very willing and this is something that should have happened a long time ago. The parade route will bring around 60 groups down Forest Avenue from Hart Boulevard to Broadway. Mayor Eric Adams says he will be marching along with them. Carol Bullock of the Pride Center hopes it lets anyone who feels left out know their community supports them. The Pride Center is here for you regardless, but again, we, we believe in inclusivity and I think that uh, the West Brighton and Staten Island community is showing that they believe that as well. The parade kicks off Sunday at noon. It's free to attend and open to all. And organizers say they hope one day there won't be a need for two parades.